the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of his sorrowful passion Have mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of his sorrowful passion Have mercy on us and on the whole world Sort of a passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul, and to be in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's be seated. Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Romans 12, 1. We are going to read together, everyone. Romans 12, 1. If possible, read. If you can read louder. I appeal to you, therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. So Divine Mercy is asking us to give ourselves, present ourselves, holy, a life acceptable, living sacrifice, living sacrifice, full of life. When you pray, there should be life. There should be life. We should be people who present our body alive, living sacrifice. Kisi na kisi prakar se kuch dena kafi nahi hai, deta hai to achcha dena. Kai ne kuch diya, Prabhu swikar nahi kiya. Abel has given the best. Unhone sarvotam bhedonga pahela utte bachchade ke sabse achcha bhaag diya. That's what scripture says. But the other man, Kayan, he has given something. Kuch ansh bhoomi ke upaj ka kuch ansh arpit kiya. Something at random. When you come to pray, what is your body language? Do you have time to give sufficiently to the Lord? Hebrews 12.12 12 reminds us some important thing. Hebrews 12.12, 12, read together. Hebrews 12.12, 12, read. Therefore, lift your drooping hands and strengthen your weak knees. What is the meaning? When you pray, what you should do? What you should do? How you should pray? Ah, with the, not with the drooping hands, but and not with the weak knees. But how? With the ah, stretched hands. You can in between outstretched hands is always good. And also kneeling down. That is why the meaning, the merit of the word of God, we receive each time you kneel down, each time you stretch your hands, you are claiming 12.12 12 of Hebrews. Say hallelujah. First Timothy 2.8. First Timothy 2.8. First Timothy chapter 2, words 8, reminds us one important thing because uh, First Timothy, First Timothy 2.8. First letter of St. Paul to Timothy 2.8. Read together. I desire then that in every place the men should pray, lifting up holy hands without anger or argument. Every place, in every place, not only in the villages, in the cities also. Say hallelujah. 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 
every place we should pray lifting holy hands sometimes men think that oh these are the pious activities of the some pious women we are not supposed to lift up hands and so on but that is why sabhi jag purush apne haathon ko upar utha ke prarthna karne ke liye bolta hai purushon ko bhi women without this also they will uh, they will stretch their hands at least for the sake of their children and so on so for our family members for all our dear ones let us stretch our hands once again please stand and stretch your hands now having received the word of god we pray for the sake of his sorrowful passion 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 eternal father we offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world say hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. the divine mercy diary number 1226 we read today the eighth day of the eighth day of the novena today bring to me the souls who are in prison of purgatory and immerse them in the abyss of my mercy let the torrents of my blood cool down their scorching flames all these souls are greatly loved by me they are making retribution to my justice it is in your power to bring them relief draw all the indulgences from the treasury of my church offer them on their behalf oh if you only knew the torments they suffer you would continually offer for them the arms of the spirit pay off their debt to my justice dear ones our dear ones many of our family members maybe your parents grandparents you are not sure whether they are eternally enjoying the fullness of joy they may be still in the purification process so much of imperfections were there when they died now we can intervene on their behalf we can and jesus revealed to faustina it is in your power to bring them relief it is in your power to bring them relief it is in your power it is in my power to bring them relief your prayers your fasting you are accepting unjust suffering willingly everything is salvific everything bring blessings sorrows that are used by the lord will produce salvation no question of regret that's what the scripture says so with pain in our heart with desire for them we need to pray for our family members who died for all of them especially your parents grandparents siblings children if at all they died also all the souls in purgatory especially those who do not have anyone to pray for we need to pray and today in a very special way let us pray for the souls in purgatory and if possible someone kneel down and others stand stretch our hands and sing the last decade of the divine mercy chaplet we pray for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole say of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of 
be sorrowful Have mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of be sorrowful Have mercy on us and on the whole world For the sake of be sorrowful closing prayer together eternal god in whom mercy is endless the treasury of compassion inexhaustible look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will which is love and mercy itself amen please stand close your eyes join your hands lord increase we had been praying increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent increase your mercy in us that mercy becomes my way of life that i become full of mercy that i become perfected in mercy that i become a share in the nature of god the scripture says be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect it is possible because the meaning is this in luke we get the fuller meaning be merciful as your father is merciful and blessed are the merciful they shall receive mercy lord set me free from my anger set me free from all my nature of getting irritated very easily hot tempered nature shouting at others mood offs very easily losing peace and joy very easily i get offended i have a lot of feelings i stop talking i become moody i bring darkness into family into my community i become the cause of tension stress negativity bitterness and forgiveness i am not able to communicate to grace and and to forgiveness blessed are the peace makers they shall be called children of god they shall be called children of god i am not a peace maker very often i trouble i make troubles very often i cause division i very easily speak against others 
whenever i am squeezed when i am irritated whenever whenever i am stressed i get angry i shout very easily i i i always put blame on others for my anger for my getting irritated i i always blame others that is because of them i drink i get drunk because of them tensions i keep on blaming the circumstances of life the people in my family and my friends many of them i keep accusing but i know nothing from outside can defile me only what is inside is defiling me from out of the fullness of the heart mouth speaks what is inside is coming out and defiling me i am not filled i am not experiencing very often the mercy which is constantly being filled into my heart i am i am i am i am despising i am taking it for granted i am taking the mercy of god for granted now stretch your stretch your hands both the hands as father is making a uh, deliverance a prayer of healing and deliverance keep praising all of you keep praising all of you hallelujah hallelujah by the authority of priesthood conferred upon me sharing the same authority with father jose and all other fathers who are here i rebuke all the spirit of darkness that are in the people of god get out all the children of god hallelujah anything that is not divine anything that is not celestial anything that is the kingdom of god i rebuke in the name of jesus christ the savior the spirit of infirmities get out all the children of god spirit of anger and forgiveness my sirliness get out all the children of god right now all the negative thought pattern get out of the children right now subala hamala hariya by the authority of priest to reclaim healing deliverance mighty anointing oh sickness has to be healed shoulder pain be healed inferiority complex is lord is taking him filling many with peace and joy power of god be manifest power 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 oh sanctify sanctify in the truth your word is true subala hamala hariya riya 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 power of god power of god in jesus most precious name we bless healing power of god repeat this prayer lord jesus i surrender myself to you take care of everything jesus i surrender myself to you take care of everything jesus i surrender myself to you take care of everything hallelujah please be seated